Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at uh, Love Bites and the single Golden Destination. It was released as an EP uh, a few months back there in Japan, but just recently, JPU Records here in the UK have released a vinyl version. And as far as I know, there's no vinyl version of this over in Japan. So it makes a change for us to get um, the vinyl version all to ourselves. I did contact them just recently and asked how many copies of this were I pressed. And I was told it was 250 copies. which So it makes it quite limited. I did look on the site earlier on, just before recording this. And they st still were available. Now, um, where they ship in the world... I have no idea, no idea. I couldn't find out any information on that. But if you contact the guys over there, either directly to the site at jpurecords.com or they do have a uh, Facebook page, contact them there. Anytime I've contacted them before, been really quick to get back to you and give you an answer. I'm sure they'll help you out. They're really good guys. Met them up in Edinburgh. Uh, at the Dragon Force gig where Love Bites were in support. I uh, had a quick chat to them there and uh, really good guys. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, you notice it's, I've got the, got the, uh, the CD and it, it's just, it's just a mirror image of the CD. Um, on the back, I couldn't tell you. So, because I got the one with the um, bit of merchandise with it. So if anyone can let me know what the uh, other, the regular issue of the CD single was like, whether it's exactly the same in the back, please let us know. Okay, we have the tracks Golden Destination, Spellbound, Puppet and Strings, and Thunder Vengeance, the or orchestral version. Uh, these two tracks, not on the album, and this is an, as I say, an orchestral version of the album track. So, what did I think? I'll let you know in a minute. I'll let you know. Let's have a look inside then. My first time looking inside. I have no idea. These things all. <laughs> if you, I don't know why I do these unboxing reviews and leave everything stuck to it because I have terrible fights getting everything off. I should just take it off before I start. There we go. Got there in the end. Great cover. I do like the imagery and the artists that are working for them. Great imagery. I would uh, like some posters of all these, but uh, they don't seem to be doing many of them. And there's the ladies. And all the tracks. All the lyrics are there for you. Great image. This is their new their new setup. Their new their new clothes. Whether those carry on wearing them on tour, I don't know. They've just brought out a new uh, DVD and um, live and they seem to be wearing all this. So, I guess so. Okay. Let's have a look at the vinyl then. Just a non-coloured. Matching the... Uh, the emblems. It's on the CDs. On the CDs it's a, a gold a gold colour. But they've just kept it like a white cream here. Two tracks each side. So it should be quite good quality. It's come out really clean. You get some records nowadays that are a bit scuffed when you get them. And again like I've just done in a previous uh, unboxing, it's nice to see it's been put in an anti-static sleeve. A lot of places 
they just don't bother and it's like real good quality that extra touch makes all the difference right what do i think of it well golden destination for those of you know it's um an iron maiden-esque gallop but it it's broken up with enough of their own style. It's not to make it a complete copy. It's a great track. Really enjoy it. I mean, the bass and the drums really drive that song through. To me, it's, it's a real cracker. The middle two, Spellbound and Puppet on Strings. They're slightly different in the sense of Sammy's vocals. They're just um it's a spellbound it's a, a keyboard laden tr track it, it there's a lot of keyboard in the background that just bounces along on a sammy's vocals and the guitar solos they just echo as well they're just smooth and great and very melodic non-aggressive puppet and strings Again, Sammy's vocals really shine through in this track. Very smooth, very subtle, but still with plenty of emotion. And it's when I actually looked at the details of the song, Sammy wrote the lyrics for both Spellbound and Puppet in the Strings. And I think she'd done something she wanted to give her own touch, and she sang it the way she, she was, she'd already thought it through. She knew what she wanted from that track. And the great tracks. There's, they're not filler tracks. You know, you buy some of these a single, and it's just a couple of tracks to fill it out. The good tracks that stand well on their own, well worth getting the EP for. Fund of Vengeance, orchestral, or, orchestral ven, version. I can never say that word. Orchestral version. I'd like to see them do more of this. I think they have it in them to do an orchestral album or do a double album that has one CD straight up what they do and do a second CD like a lot of bands do now with an orchestral version of it. I think something I'd like to see right here and I think they'd be good at. Okay. So do I think it's worth it? Uh, yeah. For the extra tracks on here, it's limited to 250 copies. I think it's great. you got all the uh, nice pictures, nice artwork. It's a nice little collector's piece. Will I get? Um, yeah. Yeah. I, th I think I'm quite pleased I got it. And I think you will be too. Okay. I hope you enjoyed uh, looking through this with me. And um, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Okay, till next time, take care of yourselves. Ta-ra, bye.